Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love. And uh, I've been asked to read letter 117 from the Divine Love Letter books. And this is um, for all channeled letters between people's twins, their higher selves. And uh, so I to do that, I'm also going to pull, I've been drawn to pull a native spirit card to say what do we need to know because it is the full moon tonight, the harvest moon. And it is vision quest. Interesting because... Uh, <laughs> A friend sent me a video this morning. It was about ancient, um, the, uh, I can't say the word, megalomythic, um, uh, oldest buildings in um, Malta, which look like this. So interesting. So here, Vision Quest. The Sacred Seeker. Take time away from people and situations step back withdraw inner truth is emerging in stillness but first you need to retreat know that you're being guided look for your answers in different ways the answers are around you watch for signs in the coming days trust that your life is being directed in earth-based cultures larger questions about life are often answered on vision quests or solo retreats in nature Questions such as, who am I? What am I meant to do with my life? And what is my mission and my purpose in life? Were often answered on quests of various kinds. Even if you don't have burning questions, when this card chooses you, it's telling you to take time away from your ordinary life. Take time to explore the depths of your soul. Your soul knows the truth. Take time in quietitude to discover what it is. The answers to your questions are all around you, but you must be still to hear these messages. And the journey is spend time alone, preferably in nature, without your cell phone and the internet, and even without pencil and paper or a book, simply just be. Listen to the world around you, be still and watch for signs. Open your heart to receive messages from the divine. No way, it's 117. <gasps> Oh my God, that's giving me massive shivers. Oh my God. That's insane. Oh. Whoa. Okay, so this is clearly the message and the sign that they want to give you. So, my darling, there's so much that I want to give to our life together. I want to make us have the best life we possibly can. I'm working on myself as I'm working on making our nest egg because I have to come and make everything right. Everything has to come together perfectly because it's so important for us to be the best version of ourselves to shine bright. You see, you have done this. You have lit me up. You have shown me the way to a better life, a life filled with love, possibilities, miracles, and love, love, love. You are my eternal love. <gasps> oh my God, that's just so crazy. That, that it's on page 117. <laughs> it's just like, whoa, if there's ever like a strong message to say that they want to, you to know that this is the message, then I don't know. Okay, so 117 is because it's not the right time because there is so much work being done in the background to bring us all together you can't even imagine how complex and intricate the complete jigsaw puzzle is the parts are all moving but every little piece is moving in unison with each other in unison with a bigger divine plan that has the universal energies moving all of the pieces Ours is not to have to know how, but we will be guided to put our jigsaw pieces together when our piece fits with the universal love union jigsaw. The more you focus on your heart, the more our pieces will come together. Focus on love. Focus on us being together. Okay, so talk about some manifestations, but this is so cool. I just went out to walk my dog, Bowie, and I've been thinking that I really need to get a pair of arm weights 
because I've got some at my mum's and I needed another pair to have here. And uh, the first thing is I'm walking along the street and this guy comes up to me and gives me um, a leaflet about the Bible. And he said to me, do you think it's full of wisdom or something? And I said, yeah, the wisdom's within. And uh, so I said, thank you. And he carries on. And then the next thing I see <laughs> on this wall is, look, a pair of dumbbells. <laughs> Brilliant. In purple as well. And purple is the sign of uh you know enlightenment <laughs> so i was like oh that's so brilliant so i just thought oh god okay just like the craziest beautifulest like timing of everything so it is just to say just it's okay you know it's gonna be okay so letter 117 is yes i want you to reach out to me anytime you want i don't want you to feel in any doubt that i always love hearing from you and i want you to message me even if i don't respond please don't take it to heart it's just sometimes i can't because i'm going through stuff and it complicates things it's complicated but that doesn't mean that i don't love getting your messages I just want you to message me whenever you feel like it and be completely honest and tell me whatever you are thinking. It's okay to let your guard down. Know that all your messages are very fondly received by my heart. Trust that I will respond with my heart right back, even if I don't respond by phone. Wow, so <laughs> that, I mean, seriously, that's just insane. So the message is to go deep within your soul, do some soul searching tonight underneath the moon and um, yeah, see what gets illuminated. And uh, I hope that that helps. And just to say thank you to the lady that asked to have letter 117 read out. That is like spookily synchronistic. It's just a little bit like, Da -da 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 -da. Look at that, 117 vision quest, just unbelievable. So there you go, that was clearly the message. So sacred seeker, take time away from people and situations, step back, withdraw. Inner truth is emerging in stillness, but first you need to retreat. Know that you're being guided. Look for your answers in different ways. The answers are all around you. Watch for signs in the coming day. Trust that your life is being directed. Well, if ever there was a sign, that is one. Okay, I hope that helps. If you want a healing reading, channeled letters, Akashic Record readings, or any of um, the services I offer, then please do check in the description box. Uh, but in the meantime, then I hope you have a lovely harvest moon, or otherwise known as corn moon by the Native Americans. So that's why I felt drawn to do the Native Spirit because I was like, I know that there's gonna be a message. So, and they're very cool. They delivered. Spirit always delivers. So, and I love the fact it's the uh, arm bells as well, the arm, because you know the weights and what they say, you just gotta keep on going uh, to get the results. So just trust, 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 trust in your journey. Trust, trust, trust in the journey of your soul because it's miraculous. You are a miraculous being just by being here, just by living in the light, just by being the love beam that you are. So thank you. Hope that helps. Take care. Bye.